All right, everybody. It's really beautiful where I'm at, isn't it? I'm on a mountain called Mill Mountain here in Virginia. And, uh, well, I'm on a trail, as you can see. I'm about 1,800 feet above sea level. And um, I think there's something to see from up here. Yeah, I'm walking right up on it. What could it be? There's a platform here. Ah. That is Roanoke, Virginia. And this is a lookout point to see out over the city. It sure is beautiful, isn't it? It's a little slow pan. It's uh, nestled here in the Blue Ridge Mountains uh, in the Roanoke Valley. That's what you're looking at below us. And it is beautiful. Just let you look at that for a second and then take a look at what's behind me. Ah, one of the city's landmarks, the Roanoke Star. It was built in 1949, initially as a big Christmas decoration, but it was so popular that the city has kept it. And it lights up every night, looks out over the town. I tried to get a picture and or video of it last night, but it was raining like hell here. Uh, it is a beautiful day today, though. Might try to get it tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time. But, uh, yeah. Here, let's read the uh, placard here. World's largest man-made star, erected in 1949 as a symbol of the progressive spirit of Roanoke. Star City of the South. So the structure is 100 feet tall. Uh, weighs 10,000 pounds. 60,000 pounds overall. Concrete base weighs 500,000 pounds. Six and a half feet deep. 2,000 feet of neon tubing. Uh, height above sea level, 1847. So 1,847 feet above sea level. 1,000 feet above the city. The Roanoke Star, erected in 1949, and it has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Well. It should be. That's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Anyway, the grounds are beautiful too. Anyway, uh, as I step out here for one last look, I'm going to head into downtown Roanoke now and explore a little. I've already driven through it. It is beautiful. I mean, I'm, I was just like, whoa. So I'm looking forward to showing it to you. And this is a great view of downtown, but I got another great view of downtown when I was down there with my drone. So uh, let's take a look at that first. And then afterwards, I'll be downtown and it'll be time to explore.
this is about a two mile drive down the, uh, from where the star is into the city um, I just wanted to uh, show you a couple seconds or 30 seconds of the drive because it's <laughs> it's beautiful I mean geez uh, but anyway as is with all my videos I do want you to feel like that you have actually been here so yeah I'm making my way to downtown Roanoke right now but boy this is sure is a nice little drive now I've just exited that uh, drive down the mountains and I'm uh, I've entered the neighborhood there's downtown right there I'm about 1.2 miles away I just wanted to uh, show you some of the homes here in this part of town because oh boy they are something Let's see if we can see that one through the trees that's really nice isn't it I mean wow <laughs> that's all I gotta say this is a uh, an area with really beautiful homes it's got one right up here too I want to show you I mean look at that huge porch that is so cool it's a beautiful home. Mm. I like that. I have disembarked the Bronco in them downtown. I'm looking at this beautiful old building. It's called the Liberty Trust Building. Built in 1910. One of the city's first skyscrapers. Uh, it is in excellent condition because it is a boutique hotel now so uh, there it is if you ever come to Roanoke and you want to stay downtown that might be an option anyway I'm going to uh, take a little walk through see some of the sites down here and as I do I will tell you about the city I love old cool 50s, 60s, 70s era signs with neon. That is so awesome. Uh, sadly it is closed, but I gotta tell you, I think you can remove that sign. If I had the dough, I would buy that. <laughs> and that would go in my man cave. That is so cool looking. Look at that amazing Dr. Pepper sign atop this building here in Virginia. Now you expect to see that somewhere in Texas because we Texans love our Dr. Pepper and it was invented in Texas in Waco. But here in Virginia, that is so awesome. The area in downtown Roanoke I'm in is called uh, City Market or sometimes farmers market. This is the crown jewel of the city, including that center in the square. I will be taking Nicole up there later. So uh, we will be ex exploring that during her part of the video. I'm just gonna continue checking out the city on foot. Now there's a bunch of tiles located throughout this area. Um, this is the first one I've seen but it is my understanding that uh, the tiles all together tell the story of the city. So I'll be sure and catch it if I see some more. Yeah, it didn't take long. Here is another tile. Something to do with trains, obviously. Here's a little bit more information on the uh, city market. Historic Roanoke City Market, oldest continuously operating open-air market in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Opened in 1882, when licenses were issued to 25 area hucksters, or vendors. 
So it's been here for a long time, 140 years, if my math is correct. And you can see where they're getting ready to set up for the day. See some guys over there. We'll take a walk down the street. Because uh, I believe a lot of these buildings are around 1900 era. So I want to show them to you, especially right along here. Oh, by the way, that's our hotel. We're staying in this holiday, or this Hampton Inn. <laughs> so cool, we just, uh, you know, all I had to do was just walk out the room. Can't beat that. Anyway, yeah. If you don't want to stay at that boutique hotel, this Hampton Inn's real nice if you come to Roanoke because look at where it's at. I mean, right here in the thick of things. Real nice fountain in front of the hotel. Uh, like I said, we're staying at this one right here. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the city. I'm going to back up a little. Now, see, there's the tallest building. So that should give you a pretty good idea of where I'm at. Uh, in 2020, the population of Roanoke reached 100,000, 100 people. And it has been steadily growing for years. Uh, the metro is 315,000. So it's a pretty decent sized little city. Some of the uh, numbers of the town Property rate is 20.1%, uh, opposed to 11.4 for the U.S. itself as a whole. Median household is 45,700 versus 67,500 for the U.S. Uh, the per, cap per capita is 29,600 here. The U.S. average is 35,700. So, uh, Pretty decent numbers. Um, what I found is these cities like this will have a little bit higher numbers like that and the uh, bedroom communities that surround them bring the overall metro down. But those numbers are just for the city. Got a few more buildings that were built around 1900. Across the street here. There's a really cool mural or a couple murals I'm going to take a look at. Yeah, look at these here. Get a little closer. Virginia Carriage Factory. Manufacturers of carriages, buggies, etc. And it got a really old Pepsi sign there below it. Fountains also in bottles, five cents. <laughs> and King of Wheat Foods. Is that Unita Biscuit? Five cents. That is so awesome that that is still there. I just love that. That's what I come out here for is to see stuff like that. This building at one time was beautiful. That is clear. Look at that insignia at the top there, right in the middle of the frame. It appears to be empty right now. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Hopefully someone will fix that up. Anyway, uh, as I make my way down here, I should tell you what time it is, what day it is. It's about 10, can you read that? 10.35 a.m. on a Tuesday here in early September. A uh, few more stats about the town. Crime rate is 42.6 per 1,000 people. The U.S. average is 41.3 per 1,000 people. So it's right in line with the U.S. average. Uh, it's pretty much a low crime town. We've been in a few places here already and I've not felt, you know, unsafe at any time. And I'm roaming around downtown and feel perfectly safe. Welcome to Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge. Built in 1892 by Norfolk and Western Railway. Uh, connected downtown Roanoke with the Gainesboro neighborhood. That was a 
uh, African-American neighborhood that had developed their own businesses and neighborhoods. Uh, I guess uh, it was segregated on either side of the bridge and then following uh, uh, desegregation in the 60s urban renewal destroyed much of the Gainesboro neighborhood. Both Henry Street and Gainesboro are now listed on the National Register of Historic Places. So that is this bridge here. This is Dare to Dream. I'll walk up it and across it, show it to you as I fill in a little bit more of Roanoke's numbers. Cost of living here is pretty low. Average rent is $875 a month. I checked three different places for the value of homes. According to the U.S. Census, the average home is worth $134,900. But then I checked real, uh, realtor.com. They're saying the average home here is worth 250,000. Zillow is saying 239,200. So uh, that's pretty low. I gave you the income numbers just a uh, few seconds ago. And the incomes here are lower than the national average. But uh, cost of living is low too. The city looks very prosperous driving around it. I will say that. That's beautiful. Got here just in time, huh? What can I say? I love trains. Anyway, um, I guess this was the Gainesboro uh, neighborhoods. As they said on the placard, they are gone now. I see a statue up here, so I'm going to go up to it and take a look. It is a statue of Martin Luther King Jr., which makes sense, of course. Um, I don't know if you can see that. The sun is uh, not positioned in, positioned in the right place. But anyway, I guess this is what is left of the, uh, of the neighborhood, the Gainesboro neighborhood. There's not a whole lot here. All right, well, I'm gonna head back into the city center. Well, you can't miss this <laughs> here in the city. Uh, this is the Virginia Museum of Transportation. There are several museums here in town. Well, you can hear that for sure, can't you? I'm uh, coming upon this church. Let's see, it must be noon. Yeah, it's a beauty. Um, the sun is kind of in a spot where I can't show it to you as well as I would like to. Let me get over here a little bit. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Across the street there is St. John's Episcopal Church. Uh, built in 1891. It's got that cool gothic style architecture with the rock. Uh, it's a beauty. Well that looks like it's getting a refurbish and uh, yeah something's uh, being built there. Maybe a new high-rise. That would be exciting for the city. Uh, I saw this over here. I wanted to take a look. You don't see these too much anymore. Uh, the Woolworth, yeah. You see the sign there, the Woolworth. Uh, somebody's making a lot of noise, backing up. There they go. I'm going to go get in the Bronco, take a look at a few more things. 
looking at some of the homes here. I, I guess I read that this was one of the parts of town that is one of the worst, I guess you could say. I don't know about that. Uh, these are beautiful old homes. Am I right? Look how wooded it is. It's really nice. I mean, they could use a little work. These are beautiful, unique homes. And uh, I read that the area on the other side of the tracks was not so great, but you guys tell me. Uh, this looks pretty nice over here. Love all the greenery, you know, the trees and everything. I mean, look at how uh, pretty that is. Maybe, tr well, maybe not. I kind of like that wild look there. And the house with the huge porch. Yeah, I really like that. Huh. Every time I come here, I see this church, or I guess it's a Catholic school. Uh, I've taken a picture of myself with it a couple times because, I mean, look at it. That is something to see, isn't it? That is beautiful. Hmm. Look at these. That is beautiful. It's got a huge back porch. That's a big house. This one's pretty big, but then here's another one. Yeah, these are really nice. Over here too. This is a uh, really quaint little neighborhood. Got an uh, empty building here. That just screams uh, pub to me, doesn't it you? Neighborhood pub. That's a damn shame that's not open. But anyway, a little bit more run-down homes. Now Australian Siri is directing me. Proceed to the roof. Really nice homes though. At the stop sign, turn right onto 5th Street Northwest. That one's got a lot of potential, doesn't it? And we got one here, it looks like it's about to be refurbished. That's pretty cool. Uh, head up this way. In half a mile, turn right onto Orange Avenue Northwest. Yeah, seeing some empty homes here. That's kind of a damn shame on a couple of these. It could be really nice houses. We got some heels here in Virginia. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's going to be the end of this part of the video. I'm going to go back to the hotel, grab my wife Nicole, and we will explore some more together. So uh, that's coming up right now. Bourbon won't solve all your problems, but it's worth a shot. That's my motto. It's both our mottos, I think. <laughs> I live by that creed. Yeah. Well, we've got the, uh, the <laughs> wife with me, and we're going to check out this part of downtown. Cool. All right, we're here uh, at the square. I think we go in over here. Oh, is it all inside? Not all of it, but this part is. Are you, so you want to go in the candy store? Where do you want to go? We're going to go inside, I think right over here. OK. So it is an indoor thing. Mm -hmm. So they've got an aquarium over here. I don't care what anybody says, fish are not pets. If you can't pet it, it's not a pet. What if you can pet it? Do you remember pet those, a fish? Do you remember those rays? Oh, what was that? Yeah, that was a, the stingray. Yeah, the, you, the, you mean the, the stingrays that you were too chicken to pet? No, I just didn't yeah. want to. The ones uh, at the zoo in too uh, chicken? Omaha. Yeah, 
those stingrays let you pet them. I know, it was cool. They wanted you to pet them. That's what was cool to me. Mm -hmm. They were coming around sticking their head up to be pet. To be pet. So would you Is call it them pet pets? Or pet -ed? Could they be pets? What's, what's past tense of pet? I don't know, pets. Petted? Petted? I don't oh, know, it sounds funny. Good. Yeah, I got another aquarium over here. Lots of fish. Lots of fish. Look at that one. Yeah. Fish are bizarre creatures. Anything in the ocean is kind of bizarre, really. That's an arowana. I think that's how it's pronounced. What? Arowana. Arowana? And that is, you mean the long one? And that is a... Oh, I was wondering where you were getting this from. I didn't see this. Oh, I just know that stuff. <laughs> Shut I don't, up. I don't have to cheat and look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. That's a shovel-nosed catfish right there. He looks like dinner to me. Oh, I, I'm sure you want him fried, I too. Catfish. Oh, yeah, I want him fried. Hell, yeah. I'm a southern boy. Look, we got some turtles. Some turtles. Cool. That one wants out. Got a red-eared slider. Yeah, Eastern I knew that. Eastern painted turtle. <laughs> and a northern map turtle. Yeah, the red eared and I guess, slider. He's, he's... You think the little fishies are food? Nah. We are on level six now of this uh, marketplace. Let's see. Huh. Said looks rooftop like plants, pond. It looks like their plants are dying. Yeah, they do look like they're dying, don't they? It's a memory of these people. I mean, I guess they don't think much of them if they're not like, watering their plants. They look like they could <laughs> use some water, don't they? Said there's a rooftop pond. I was thinking it might be a little bigger. I guess that's a pond. Look at the fish. Like I mean, they this want... is just something free they give to people. You, know, you don't expect it to be outstanding when it's free, do you? <laughs> These fish want some food. They think uh, we're going to give them food. I don't have anything to give them. Yeah, we don't. I would happily give them food. Hmm. Oh, there you go. We should buy them. We should buy them some Swedish fish and see. Huh? Should buy them some what? Swedish fish and feed it to them and make them oh, cannibals. Yeah. <laughs> they would probably like that though. Well, there's some. Then other... they'd be cannibals. There's an overlook here, so let's go up here. You can see the city. You can see, uh, there's the tallest building in the town. Is that some kind of concert hall with a weird shape like that? Uh, I think that's the Taubman Museum, I think. So it's the what? The, it's a museum, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was shaped off funny for some kind of acoustics or something. Yeah. I can see the, oh, I can see the city from up here. Yes, you can. It's kind of nice, huh? Okay, it's about five o'clock, so it looks like we may have missed the farmer's market. I figured uh, it would stay open later than this. Huh. Yeah. Well, no fresh vegetables for us, so I guess we'll just look around at some other stuff. What do you think? No, yeah, it's fine. It's not like we can really buy fresh vegetables if we're moving from hotel to hotel. I know, I just wanted the option. Okay, so we're gonna Hi. walk in chocolate paper. Uh, my understanding, this is one of the places to visit here. <laughs> so let's go check it out. It smells like chocolate in here. No, it doesn't. It does too. I don't smell. You can't smell that? I don't smell any uh, chocolate Smells like at chocolate all. and paper. And I bet you they don't sell chocolate paper. I bet they do. I bet you they don't. <laughs> I knew I was smelling chocolate. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, you said it's you It's everywhere. You Whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Well, I can smell I said, that. You said, can't smell that. I said they don't have chocolate paper. I didn't say they don't have chocolate. You said you couldn't smell chocolate. Look at oh, it all. I personally cannot. I can smell it. It smells like chocolate here. Now chocolate covered pretzels. That's kind of, I like chocolate that way. I'll eat any of this. I don't like fudge. I'll eat it. I'll eat fudge. I'll eat any of it. I know people love fudge. I'm just strange because I don't like it. So this is just basically a kind of a gift store slash chocolate. Well, they've got a chocolate covered pretzel mm -hmm. with peanut butter cups on top and the little uh, snow caps on top. Yeah, oh look, my God, and Reese's Pieces. They look good. They've got they? chocolate covered pretzels topped with everything it looks like. Yep. <laughs> see, look at it, zoom in on it. I did. Look. I showed it all, look, see, there it is. Up there too. I know, I know. Everybody sees it. 
See that sign there? I saw that earlier. I want to uh, take that off and then, you know, when we have a house again, I want to put that in my man cave because that is the coolest sign. Are you talking about sign. the one hour cleaning sign? That is sign is cool. No, I mean, I don't know. I've seen cooler old signs before. I kind of like old signs, but I don't know. That one's so-so. No, I don't think so. That's more than so-so. No, not if you ask me. It's I've, like from 70s I've definitely or seen. I've definitely seen uh, cooler old signs than that. No way. That's from like the 60s or 70s. I love so it. I've seen other signs from the 60s and 70s that are look no. more 60-ish type no. of design. I'll put that across the top of the man cave with the neon. That would be so cool. Your man cave is usually your office. <laughs> what? Your man cave is usually your office. Well, the same thing. <laughs> oh, okay. That's where I all didn't my that. Uh, dolls, I mean action figures are. <laughs> yeah, your dolls. No, my action figures. Those are not dolls. They're dolls. Boys play with dolls. Mm. Just admit it. I don't play with them very much. <laughs> Just Darth Vader and Princess Leia. Those are always fun. We still have that that Freddy, was it Freddy Krueger? Yeah, that Freddy Krueger from my little brother, right? I do have it. He still has his hat, right? That's a great doll, I mean action figure. <laughs> Does he still have his hat? Of course he has his hat. He's not Freddy Krueger without his hat. <laughs> remember he had his name He's just a guy in a, in a... Do you remember the first... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. Do you what? remember the first, the first Freddy... Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Of course, when, Johnny Depp. Yes. When she she grabs his hat off his head and she brings it into like real life, uh -huh. and it's got his name written in it. Oh, like it does? everybody writes their name in their hat. That's how they find out his name. Everybody it's does Freddy that. Krueger. Of course, everybody writes their name in their hat. That's common. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I've never done your that. Hat? I've never done it. <laughs> All right, we are gonna go get something to eat. Okay. And the wife picked. She's picked. Awful Arthur Seafood Company. It's kind of a cool name. <laughs> it is a cool name and it's local. We always like to eat local and uh, yes. make our con contribution to the local economy. Yes, no chains. That would, wouldn't make no any chains. sense now, would it, anyway? Yeah, local place only. So we're going to go in here and uh, have some dinner. Have some Do you think he really wants to come in or something? Yeah, we'll go sit at the bar. Looks pretty cool in here. It's doing great. Can we just sit at the bar? Go right ahead. Thank you. Yep. All right. It's early in the day, so it's quiet right now, which is what we like. Having it to our, having the place to ourselves. That's what you like, over 80. <laughs> All right, we've got Jack Daniels. I already know what I'm going to have. I'm going to have tropical salmon. I don't know what I want yet. You got to give me a You're still deciding. I'm still deciding. Right. I'm very indecisive. All right. I like that. I like that octopus up there. Yeah, that's cool. I want that in my... Yeah, uh, I would want that sign. That's cool. I want that sign too in my man cave. <laughs> At least underneath, underneath that other sign. Oh, I can't go in your man cave because I like it too. It's too bad. I, <laughs> I call, too bad. I call dibs. So you have decided okay. what you're going to have? I was trying not to get it because you were getting it, but I think I'm going to do the tropical salmon too. You're going to do the same thing with me. But I want it extra blackened and I want my pineapple salsa on the side. Alright. So we're going to be having two tropical salmons. Mm. All right, our food is here. Tropical salmon. Mine I ordered just the way it came. And you got your salsa on the side, salsa. more black. Extra, extra black. Looks good though, doesn't it? All right, so what's the bourbon? My salmon is very good, very moist. It's cooked perfectly. It's all really good. I love snow snap, snow, pack, uh, snow snap peas, if I can get it out. I love those. So it's all really yummy. Yep, that's really good. S salmon is moist, it's yummy. That pineapple salsa is awesome on top. Yeah, I had to put mine on top. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, yeah, you had yours on the side and decided to go ahead and yes. put it on top. Yep, I did. So, yeah, it's very good. All right, so that is it for Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, I gotta say, I, I didn't expect much from the city coming in. I really didn't. And it is a beautiful town. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think it wouldn't be beautiful but it is a beautiful town and uh, we had a real nice time here our next video is going to be in Nashville Tennessee I'm looking forward to it that's going to be a different kind of video we're going to uh, be all hoity-toity and stay in a hotel in downtown Nashville a high-rise right uh, next or one block off from Broadway and we're going to show the hotel we're going to uh, review the hotel room um, we're going to show you what it's like 
it would be like to uh, stay in downtown Nashville, a really dynamic city these days, and uh, party on Broadway. I better bring my cowboy boots. Yeah. I don't have any cowboy boots. Well, we're going to go into... You don't. We're going to go into a bunch of the, uh, the bars there and watch some live music and uh, hang out at a really nice hotel. So uh, it'll be fun. Maybe I should get some cowboy boots. Maybe you should. Pink. Anyway, that video will be next, so be looking for that. We'll see you then.